if you successfully pursue this course that is craft certificate in electrical and electronic engineering power option then you are eligible to join diploma in electrical and electronic engineering power option in your second year of study Now, what about the diploma course in electrical and electronic engineering? What are the areas? What knowledge skills you gain? Where can you go for attachment? Where can you go to seek for employment? We can see most of the units are almost similar to what you have seen for certificate course, like communication skills, life skills, information and communication technology, entrepreneurship. Those are also key areas, especially when you go out there for job search, uh, self-employment. Then there is engineering mathematic one, which is key because other units, especially the core units in electrical engineering, and also for mathematics in the second and third year of study. I've done a video on that, the various mathematic topic in electrical engineering. Check the video in the link shown here or in my video description here. I've gone through all the mathematic topic you cover in that in those three years, how they build on each other, especially because the mathematics that you do in the uh, first year of study is very critical to your third year of study. Then there is a physical science, which is a support unit. Mechanical science is a support unit. Material processes and workshop practice, so those are a support unit. Mechanical science and materials processes and workshop practice, those are mechanical engineering unit. So even electrical engineering, students do two units in mechanical engineering. Then you have uh, engineering drawing, which is a common unit for engineering students. We have now the foundation of electrical engineering, electrical engineering principles. So I cover the principles of electrical engineering. We have installation technologies and solar systems. This one you have said they form the foundation for most of the electrical engineers, at least for diploma certificate and ASEAN level. Most of them, when they go out there, they will start their foundation of careers from electrical installation. So the skills on electrical installation work is very key. And here in the first year of study, They'll do domestic installation. They have they will not yet have done the machines part. So it's similar to the certificate and ARI ASAN course. It's all about domestic installation work. The practice for installation and SORA uh, they are usually combined as a single unit. It's, it's also another area that I teach. So one of the areas. If you have checked some of the videos I've, I usually upload, uh, you see me with my student in the lab. Then there's analog electronics. Analog electronics gives the student the foundation for electronics at some point they can work in areas involving electronics then we have electrical measurement and fault diagnosis which is also another uh, important area in electrical engineering actually for electrical engineering there are very many units you can see in the first year i've studied there are 14 of them if you check other courses like it i think they are around six seven for first year of study so at least it's important to know for engineering courses you need to Put effort. There's a lot. I'm not saying it's hard, but what I'm saying is there's work. So uh, the various units, the 14 of them, they are combined into six papers, and those six papers you must pass either all of them or fail at most two, so that you can proceed to the next year of study. That is your module two. Now for the module two here, you gain excellent knowledge on electrical power generation and transmission and also machines, a bit of machines and control systems. The first unit is control systems, more knowledge on analog electronics, then there is engineering mathematics, more knowledge on electronics, that is digital electronics, engineering drawing and design, especially related to electrical engineering, industrial programmable and logic controllers, there is business plan, circuit analysis. This unit is a combination of circuit analysis and machines, and then there is a building surface and protection, and then there's electrical power generation. Here you discuss all types of power plants. That is your thermo hydro, weed, diesel. Uh, you also discuss uh, various types of transmission line, their design or their method of support. You discuss underground cables. There's quite a knowledge on um, power generation and transmission. Uh, it's also one of the areas that I've been teaching for quite some time. And then after that, there's industrial attachment. Again, in the first year of study, there's another industrial attachment. Supposed to take a total of uh, 330 hours. Now, for the first year of study, because the, of the knowledge you have gained in electrical installation and solar system, I would really recommend 
you go out for an attachment with a contractor just like in the asan and certificate level you have not done any machines by now sometimes trainees go for attachment in either says uh, because they did not manage to find attachment the contractor but if you manage give that the first priority in the second day of study you have done machines I mean you have done control you have done industrial programmable logic controllers you have done circuit analysis there's a machine in this area and you have done electrical power generation and transmission so you have three areas you can look for attachment and but i recommend two you can go to the industries machine installation motor installation various type of motors in the industries by now you have you have covered a good portion of the various type of motors you can go to kenjen you have done various theory of various type of power plants a bit of control engineering so i think industry places like uh, kenjen and uh, or genetic plants will be good for you because of challenges getting attachment you may not have an option if you get kenya power just go ahead and do your attachment there an attachment at kenya power would be best if you did it in your third year of study now for the third year of study here you gain some more knowledge on industrial machines and controls uh, the unit are engineering mathematics 3 which builds up on from the first and second year work there is microcontroller technology industrial organization management microprocessor system so more knowledge on controllers and microprocessors estimating tendering and engineering service and contracts more knowledge on installation work electromagnetic field theory which is a more of a new area then you have machine and neutralization you have a uh, Electrical power transmission and distribution. Here you gain more knowledge on uh, various type of transmission line, various equipment and accessories that are used in transmission line, in power generation, transmission and distribution. That is the various protection schemes for generators, transformers, transmission line, bus bus, uh, relays. You do power system stability. So this one, if you go to Kenya Power, uh, you have learned quite a good deal for your attachment there and then there's power electronic which is more of industrial machines control and supply you can see for the study of study because you have gained extra knowledge in industrial machine control and uh, power transmission and distribution you can still go back to the industry for your internship or for finding now a job or still you can go to kenya power if you get that opportunity uh, so that you make use of the knowledge you have gained in various protection schemes for the power systems. Now for the entry level for the diploma course, it is usually a C minus, but you can join this course from certificate course in your second year of study or directly from my school with a C minus, you be you can join this course. But if you have a C plane, C plus, this course will be very good for you because you will comfortably zero through the course. Sometimes the C minus is a bit challenging because of quite a number of mathematics units you have seen there. And especially if you did not do physics, you perform poorly in maths, uh, it might be a challenge for you. Uh, with a C plus, you will score very highly in electrical engineering, especially if you put enough effort in it. Without any worry of reverse or fuse, you go out there, you become a great engineer. That's why I make the videos on TVET courses. Uh, watch all the videos. I have quite a number of videos in uh, various engineering courses. I have videos in mechanical engineering, civil engineering. Decide which is the best course for you and then settle for that course. Do more research on that course, then it will be good to go. That is the match I have for now. I believe I have not wasted your time in this video and certainly not in the next video.